Hi there. Now for this question, water is being heated in the kettle and at time t seconds the temperature of the water is theta degrees C. The rate of increase of the temperature of the water at any time t is modelled by the differential equation d theta by dt equals lambda times 120 minus theta. And theta is less than or equal to 100 where lambda is a positive constant. Now given that theta equals 20 when t equals 0, we're asked to solve this differential equation to show that theta equals 120 minus 100 times e to the power minus lambda t for 8 marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. When you come back, I'll take you slowly through the work solution. OK, welcome back then, if you had a go. Well, first of all then, we just copy down what we're given here. That is d theta by dt equals lambda times 120 minus theta. Now, to solve a differential equation like this, what we do is we separate it. We separate the variables, put all the theta terms on one side and all the t terms on the other. So what I'm going to do is divide by 120 minus theta. I'm going to leave the constant lambda at the top here. I don't have to, I can remove that if I want to, but uh, I feel it's just a good idea to keep it there. So I'm going to rearrange this by dividing both sides by 120 minus theta. That would give me 1 over 120 minus theta. And I'm going to remove the dt. That's going to leave me with d theta there. And I'm going to have lambda dt there. And you always integrate both sides. OK, so that's going to take me to that line there. OK, so from this step here, we therefore have this step. Separating the variables then. Now, all I need to do is integrate both sides. And for this one, I can see that this is a natural log type. If I differentiate the denominator here, I get negative 1. And I've got essentially 1 on the top, so I just need to do minus the natural log then of 120 minus theta. So we'll just put that in brackets, 120 minus theta. Normally I'd put a modulus sign around here, but this is always going to be positive in this question because theta is always less than or equal to 100. So this will always be positive. And then if I integrate this side here with respect to t, the integral will be lambda t. And then we have to put a constant in. Now it doesn't matter which side you put the constant on, OK? I'm going to put it on the right hand side. Everything should work out in the end, whatever side you put that constant on. Now, I'm just going to call this equation 1. We'll be coming back to this several times over. So we need to work out what this constant is. And we can do that from this information up here. And that is that we're told that when theta equals 20, t equals 0. And we can substitute this then into equation 1. OK, so put into 1. And if we do that, we end up with minus the natural log of 120 take away 20, which is going to be minus the natural log of 100. And on the right hand side here, if t equals 0, this term goes to 0 and we're just left with c. So you can see that c is minus the natural log of 100. So if we just come down here and sub this back in 1, all right, we'll just put sub in 1, then what we've got is therefore minus the natural log of 120 minus theta is equal to lambda t 
and then the constant minus natural log of 100. Now we could clean this up by adding the natural log of 100 to both sides, bringing the logs to both sides. So we have natural log of 100 minus the natural log of 120 minus theta would equal lambda t. And when we're subtracting logs then, this is exactly the same as doing the division of 100 then over 120 minus theta. Okay, a basic rule for logs there. And it equals lambda t. Now we can remove the natural log here by anti-logging and that gives us 100 over 120 minus theta equals e to the power lambda t. So let's just come down this stretch now and what have we got? Well I could multiply both sides now by 120 minus theta so therefore we've got 100 equals e to the power lambda t multiplied with 120 minus theta. And if I divide now by e to the lambda t, I would therefore have 100 over e to the lambda t equals 120 minus theta. And then I'm almost there now. If I add theta to both sides and subtract this term, we're going to have theta equals 120 minus this term. But then I can bring e to the lambda t up to the top and write it as a negative power. So it's e to the power minus lambda t. Alright?